Can you give us an overview of what's happened recently uh, in uh, in biotech in the biotech space? What are the, in your view, what are the latest amazing breakthroughs, and where do you see uh, upcoming progress? Big trend, at least in my world, is data, right? Big data, compute power, AI. Um, you know, it's it's changing all of our worlds, and it's you know, I think it's it's rocking the world of biotech um, as well. Um, it's specifically in my world, AI is being brought to bear, for example, on early cancer detection. Most of the mammograms at the Mass General right now are actually read uh, by an AI algorithm and can help call back patients who need to be seen sooner. It's a, it's a very fascinating world uh, in, in oncology and seeing actually the convergence of all of these trends that Sangeeta was, was talking about coming to, to play. Uh, of course, mRNA is playing a role. I think we had the first good set of positive data coming out of the combination of mRNA uh, vaccination, if I could put it like that, so education of the immune system towards a, a specific goal with products that are actually already in the market and tackle cancer in different manners. So the early we get to treat that patient, the better the outcomes are for that patient. And data there is critical. I think there is no other way besides large data for us to be able to, to intervene uh, faster. Yeah, actually data has been a word that has come up more and more. And it's been used um, a lot to basically look at large population genome sequencing efforts where you have sequences for a lot of people and you try to find out the pathologies, how, how diseases work, if there's new angles, how you can treat diseases. Um, and, and that's only possible with AI, obviously, because that's so much data that no single person could make sense of it. But with AI that is so good at detecting patterns, um, you're actually trying to find new disease targets. 